Some folks say that a connection to places and things can span generations. For those of you that don't know, I grew up in Canada. I have a long history of ancestors in Canada, both in the west and out east. In fact, one of my great-grandfathers was one of the first to settle the city of Calgary. He also spent a lot of time up in the Yukon searching for gold. There's a lot of frontier and explorers in my ancestry. And I wonder if some of that has passed on through me. I feel a connection to things that are part of that life that is now past. Also, when I look to the east, I have ancestry both European and Native American that tie and connect me to places in eastern Canada and in the northeast of the United States. Perhaps it's for that reason that I love things that exemplify and, and remind me of a pastime in the eastern United States, in the Hudson Bay area up in Canada, and in the woods out east. There's something about the Hudson Bay pattern axe that just appeals to me. So, the last couple restorations I've been doing have been centered around first a Hudson Bay themed mountain bike, which really doesn't have a connection to the past as much, but it does have a connection for me to adventure, exploration, and the outdoors. In fact, this axe was kind of the inspiration for the pattern that I did on the bike. And I always intended on doing an axe along with the bike to match. So that's what this restoration is here. Or rather, customization? Perhaps it's not quite a restoration. But I hope you guys can all enjoy this journey. This axe head isn't really anything special, but it will be when it's done. In this, I will be doing some electro etching using one part acid to to five parts water, mixing the acid into the water, of course. But I'm going to let you guys enjoy this, and we'll pick up the conversation at the end of the video.
So, as I wrap up this axe sheath and finish up the axe, I just wanted to say a few things. First, I wanted to thank Spray.Bike again for the paint that I used on the Hudson Bay bike that I also used on this axe. It actually worked pretty well. So, check them out. Also, we just finished Thanksgiving. We're heading towards Christmas. I've got a couple other restorations coming up. One, a bike that I've finished for a young girl for Christmas. And another that I'm working on right now for a young man in the community who races mountain bikes. Getting him something a little better than he's currently using. So, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Look for opportunities to give old things new life. And if you want to contribute to projects that I'll do to give for charity and service, you can check out my Patreon. So, again, look for opportunities to give those old things new life. And we'll see you on the next video. Ciao. The best thing I did and I want you